Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, today I'm uh, forced once again to uh, show that wide forks are actually faster than narrow forks. And uh, I'm going to uh, do a little demonstration here so that you understand it completely and totally. This is a piece of paracord, and it's uh, set up so that it has a 5 to 1 pull ratio against this band. It's five times longer than this band is here. I'm going to attach this to my finger. Turn this chronograph on, put a piece of ammo in here, all the same ammo I've got laid out right here. Now pull till the paracord gets taut, then simply fire. That's 263.9 feet per second. Let me uh, zoom the camera in, and I'll just leave the camera zoomed in. Can you see that? Let me put the angle down slightly. Here, hopefully you can see that good. All right. 263.9. Then I'll reattach this to my finger here. Have another piece of ammo. Put it there like that. Two hundred fifty nine point eight and two hundred fifty five point five. I will do one more shot just to uh, make sure that there's no anomalies within that. We've got 258.8. So the 255.5 one's probably a little bit of an anomaly. The others are within five, uh, five feet per second. All right. Now, four shots over here, just the same. Now I'll just narrow this up. And then uh, have a pretty good uh, cold here. So a lot of coughing and stuff. You're gonna get treated to that as well in a weak voice. All right. Now, piece of shot goes in here. That's PFS width, hot, and fire. 252.1. Two hundred fifty-four point eight, and this uh, pouch is starting to really fall apart on me. I'll do one more shot, and that will be it. Then I'll explain to you why this works the way it does. Two hundred sixty point zero. I think what's happening here is the band's warming up pretty good on. It. So let me do one more shot. That will probably be the anomaly shot for this one. This did do four for the other. All right, 259.9. As the bands are outside here, they're starting to warm up a little bit. Now, I'm gonna bring it back wide once again. Had all this stuff inside and brought it outside so of course it's getting a little getting warmed up now and we'll take a couple of shots real wide two hundred and seventy point three as you see, I have this piece of paracord on here. I can't draw it any further for either to either way. It's, it's, both are going to be drawn exactly five to one. 267.9. 
and 271.3. All right, let me zoom this back out. Oh, goodness. All right. Even doped up on uh, cold medication, I know that wider forks are just faster than narrow forks. Now, there's got to be a reason why, because rubber works in a linear pull fashion, right? Well, think of it like as a uh, like any kind of a, uh, a bow, like an archery, like like you use an archery, where the limbs they pull down. Those are pulling out the force this direction. They're pulling out away this way, but because you're using the center point, the center point is still being pro uh, projected or pulled towards the center. All right, that's all there is to it. You're pulling out away from the center, and it's going back to the center. Force is force. It doesn't matter if it's pulling out this way or directly in line this way, when it's in line with, or out, out of line with the object, so long as you're pulling it against something, it's creating resistance, that resistance is pulling and uh, then being released. Wider is faster, in this case, because there's less slack. A wider fork, and it's just in degrees from here, it's always gonna have less slack in it than a narrower fork. The wider it is, the less slack it'll have in it. And it's just in degrees. So if I were to have it here, it would have a little bit less slack than it does here. <coughs> and it goes on and on. Guys, that's it. As you see, it does not matter what, what the science or the physics say behind it. Reality is what counts here. Wider is faster. And when you have it to where it cannot, go any more than a five to one pull ratio on your bands and that's exactly what this is set up for it will always be the same or if you pull it to the same anchor point if you pull it to the same anchor point wider is going to be much faster than narrower all the time if you pull it to where it has the same draw ratio like on this one it's going to have about a five percent faster up to about five percent faster uh, shot on it with uh with a near with a wider fork if I had it all the way out to here, it would be faster still, but I don't. I'm just doing it to here because uh, this pouch is delaminating on me. But anyway, that's it, guys. Wider is faster, and it goes against all logic, but that's just the way it is. All right, thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.